morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today's devotion is taken from The Desire of Ages by Ellen G. White, chapter 49, page 452. Standing thus, the center of attraction to that vast throng, Jesus addressed them as no man had ever done. His words showed a knowledge of the laws and institutions of Israel, of the sacrificial service and the teachings of the prophets, far exceeding that of the priests and rabbis. He broke through the barriers of formalism and tradition. The sins of the future life seemed outspread before him. As one who beheld the unseen, he spoke of the earthly and the heavenly, the human and the divine, with positive authority. His words were most clear and convincing. And again, as at Capernaum, the people were astonished at his teaching. For his word was with power. Luke chapter 4, verse 32. Under a variety of representations, he warned his hearers of the calamity that would follow all who rejected the blessings he came to bring to them. He had given them every possible proof that he came forth from God and made every possible effort to bring them to repentance. He would not be rejected and murdered by his own nation if he could save them from the guilt of such a deed. Do you follow in the footstep of Jesus to preach the word to those around you? Do you call people to repentance? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I know that as Jesus' mission was to preach the gospel and to save souls lost in darkness, today you are calling me to do the same. I know that all around me are souls who do not know Jesus and who are still living in sin. Help me to have a burden for these souls and to follow in the footsteps of Jesus to call them to repentance and to accept Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May you have a grand day ahead of you. Goodbye.